Hey guys, how you doing today? Today we're going to be looking at creating a batch file to see if there's a running process running and if there's not a running process running that matches this parameter then we're going to go ahead and start another exe or start that exe up that we want started or a batch file. So you can see we already got a test batch file here on our desktop and we named it check if notepad is open and you can see this is the information in it but I'm going to minimize it and we're going to test it right now so I'm going to double click on it it's going to basically do a quick task list check to see if a certain executable is running and if it's not running then I have it execute notepad.exe and you can see that's what just opened so if I go ahead and double click this again do you think it's going to open notepad again? I don't think so so you can just see I just ran it and it doesn't open up or do anything. So if I close out of here and run it again, you can see it opens up Notepad EXE. Now, now you're probably wondering why would I create this batch file? What, what would be a use case? So I'm going to show you a use case. So I'm running a server that's a it's a gaming server. It's called Crisis, and for some reason, every 24 hours it crashes, and it's an old game. You know, there's tons of bugs, glitches, you know, things happen. There's the developers stop developing it. So there's really nothing more that I can do to, unless I can figure out the problem going through the logs. But unfortunately, I can't find anything. So I just created a simple batch file that does a task list. So I'll, I'll show you what this, what this looks like. So if I open up command prompt and type in task list, just like I have there in that command prompt, it's going to basically list all the current running EXEs that are running on this machine right now. That's why it's called task list. So the next parameter I have here, you do a space pipe, you do find, and this is gonna find um, this running process in this list. And you can see it, there's the crisis dedicated server running. So if I go ahead and run this um, script, it's not going to, uh, start this batch file again. So if I double click on this, you can see it goes away right away because it basically, um, if it finds this, then it just kills the batch file totally. Um, so if it does uh, not find it, then there's double pipe to tell, now start this batch file. And that's what starts up the actual server. So if I come over here and we can do task manager, We'll find that crisis server. I'll go ahead and end that task. Now, if I go ahead and run this batch file, it's going to go ahead and start up crisis again. So you can see now it's running our batch file. So go ahead and close out of that. So that's basically what it's what it's doing. So that's my use case and why I'm start creating this video because I don't know if there's some other people out there that are running the same issue, but it's as simple as creating a new batch file, type in task list, space pipe, find this notepad.exe, and then you do double pipe, and then start notepad.exe, uh, or what it could be whatever. It could be, we could change this to Chrome. So if I save this and run this, it should have been Google Chrome, and there you have it. So, but we want that to notepad. I'll go ahead and put this in the description of this video so you have it, so you don't have to type it. I like copy and paste, so I'll just put that in there for you guys. Um, but that's as simple as it gets. Uh, to basically write a batch file to check to see if there's an exe running. If there is, if it's not running, it'll execute whatever you want to execute. Um, but if it's not, then I'll just kill the batch file and then go away. So you can see in my task uh, scheduler, you can have it run, you know, however, how, how much you want. So you can see I have the CSGO, which is another batch file that's running that does updates to it every night. And then I have that crisis server check every hour. It basically runs that crisis check batch file to make sure it's running. But like I said, you don't have to use it for game servers. You can use it for anything, anything else that you could think of that might you might need it to check for an executable that's running and it's not running. Like let's say you're running a Minecraft server and you can have a check for, you know, a Minecraft Java executable if it's running. If it's not running, then start it up. So you can use this for multiple things. Hope this is helpful you guys. See you in the next video.
Thanks. <laughs>